In this video, I'll show you how to fix an external drive not showing up on your PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. I'll be explaining multiple different methods you can go and use in order to go and get your hard drive to go and show up on your computer. The first method is pretty basic, but I'd recommend trying it in a different USB port just in case that one USB port isn't working properly. And if you and if that still isn't working, then try a different computer just in case your computer is isn't working properly with the hard drive. However, I know that's not going to work for everybody. Um, but if the you if the hard drive then does work on another computer, if you've tried it, then this may mean your computer isn't working properly with the hard drive. However, if it still isn't working on the other computer, then let's go and get into these steps. So the first thing you want to do is go onto your computer um, and come to the bottom. Let's get into this second method, and this is mainly going to apply if there's a brand new hard drive which you haven't used before and it's not showing up. So if this is the case and it's really common and there's a simple thing we need to go and do to go and configure it. All you need to do is tap on search and then go and type in partition just like so and you want to go and tap on create and format hard disk partitions just like so. And when you open up this management with a new hard drive plugged in you're going to go and get a pop up uh, saying initialize disk and what you need to do is go and select the disk uh, and make sure it's ticked and then go and select the GBT option because the MBR option if you're creating a boot drive but this is just an external drive so GPT is the one you need. And the great thing about the disk management app is it's going to show you all your drives even if they aren't showing in your file explorer they're going to show up here and then what you need to do is come to the second part of the app and scroll down and go and look for your new hard drive i don't currently have a new one but if you do go and find it and it's going to go and say unallocated and this means that drive hasn't been allocated the space yet so all you need to do is right click on this empty space inside of it it's going to be like a white area like this and then what you need to do is right click on the space and go and tap on new simple volume and this will open up the new simple volume wizard so go and press next and what you'll need to do is go and choose the space you'd like to go and give the hard drive what I'd recommend doing is just giving it uh, the max amount of space because you can create different partitions but just give it the max amount of space it's the most simple one and the next thing you'll need to do is go and assign the driver letter so when we say a letter this basically means we've got c d e f g so i'll probably go and add an h drive and then you're going to be on the format partition page and what you need to do is select format this volume with the following settings and for the file system i recommend ntfs it's just the most sort of universal one and then for the allocation unit size just make that default and then you can go and name the volume label anything you like this is just a name so yeah name it anything you like and then you can go and select perform a quick format just to make sure everything's in order then you can go and press next and after you go and press next uh, then you can just go and press finish and you've now gone and set up the drive and your drive will then be appearing uh, in your file explorer um, in this place here now let's go and get into this next method and you'll need to go and open up the disk management app. So once again, you, if you haven't opened it up already, just go and search partition um, and then you can quickly go and get to it here. And then once you're in this app here, as I said previously, uh, the disk management app actually goes and shows you all of the drives you've um, got plugged into your computer. Even if they aren't showing in your file explorer, they're still going to appear there. And so then what you need to do is go and find the disk in the second half here. For example, if this Seagate drive wasn't appearing in my file explorer and this is the one which isn't showing for you as well, what you need to do is go and right click on it just like so and then what we can do is go and format the disk now it is important to note that when you go and format a disk you are going to lose all the information on it so try and back it up if you can even though it's not showing up try it in a different computer or something because you will lose all the files um, and then what you recommend doing is changing the file system uh, to N NTFS that's the most universal one um, because it probably isn't showing up on your computer due to the file system on it so try changing the file system and formatting it and hopefully that will go and fix the problem and then the main methods you should try as I said before the main thing you should try is just trying a different computer for example trying a mac instead of windows and stuff like that you know try different operating systems and just different computers and different usb ports as well and that's the main thing you can go and try otherwise you may need to go and seek professional help if you found this guide useful please go down below and consider subscribing peace